Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome to another food adventure. Uh, I am driving through the beautiful town of Port Carling, the hub of the lakes. It is the little town that joins Lake Rosso and Muskoka Lake together uh, through the lock system. And when you're driving through Port Carling and you have a craving for pizza, there's no pizza places around, but I just found out recently, in the last month or so, that there is a pizza vending machine at the gas station uh, here in Port Carling. So we're gonna go do a quick little visit, see what they got in this vending machine. I've already done two of their pizzas. I'm gonna have to look it up, make sure I don't do it the same one again. I think I did like the, uh, was it the cheeseburger pizza and another one? Uh, we'll try something different on the menu and uh, we'll see if that one's any good. Are you guys ready? It's just up here around the corner. We got some beautiful fall colors happening. It's just gorgeous up here in Muskoka. All right, there it is. Shell Station. Pull off the road here. Check out what they got at this pizza vending machine. There it is, right there. It looks like it's in operation. Let's find a parking spot, get some food. All right, people, here we go again. Now that I know there's a knife there, that's awesome. So let's do this thing, touch screen. Uh, last time I did the pepperoni and the cheeseburger. They don't have that anymore, it looks like on this one machine. But I saw the barbecue chicken. And I think I'm gonna have to go barbecue chicken. Meat lovers would be good too though, wouldn't it? All right, let's do the barbecue chicken. Let me just touch it. And we want so it's mozzarella cheese, chicken, Asiago cheese, bacon, Parmesan cheese, cream something, barbecue sauce, and Romano cheese. That's a lot of cheese. It's a 420 calories per slice. One quarter of it. All right, so let's go hot. Uh, yeah, you can add more pizzas if you want. Let's do the confirm. Visa has been touched. Your order has been confirmed. Your pizza is on its way. Would you like a receipt? Sanitize your hand. I can smell it already. I hear it working. Barbecue chicken. It's gonna be good. Here's a peek inside the machine. Oh, this is the progress bar here. It's moving moving ever so slightly it smells awesome oh my goodness it smells like a barbecue it really does wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling we can grab our compostable biodegradable knife I missed this the last time I made a video got some picnic tables for you to eat, no smoking. Vending machine for beverages. Oh yeah. Collect your pizza, people. Oh my goodness, so hot. Woo -hoo -hoo. Enjoy, goodbye. Let's get this back to the car and start feeding. Woo! It's gonna be yummy. It smells so good. Woohoo! We are back in the car, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out our trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? First up, sanitize the hands. Got our Purell goo. Get that all done. Get that out of the way, being safe. Now it's time to open up this pizza box. Oh, it smells so good. 
Oh boy. Looks like a bacon and a barbecue chicken. Time for a close up. Okay, people, here's your extreme close up of this artisan style pizza barbecue chicken. As you can see, we've got our slightly charred chunks of barbecue chicken. We got that awesomely toasted cheese. Look at that piece of bacon. Holy schmoly. All those different flavors on this beautiful crust. I cannot wait to get into this. Can you? All right, let's do this. This time I remember to grab a knife. Again, this is a biodegradable knife, which is very cool. All right, so we gotta cut our own pizza. Again, a quarter of it is 400 calories plus. It did a pretty good job. Turn it, cut it. I'm gonna do it two ways here. I'm gonna fold. Okay, there we go. Uh, the, the lid rips off nicely, so you can use it as a plate. Okay, I'm gonna do a quarter first. Oh my goodness. Check it out, the firm test. Is it perfectly toasted on the bottom? Doesn't feel like it, but it looks good. All right, let's fold it. No, some of you guys don't like it folded. So you like the pizza to stay open like this? Hmm. Savory and sweet. The barbecue sauce has a nice sweet flavor to it. Mm-hmm. The Asiago cheese is a nice touch. I really enjoy Asiago cheese on my pizza. Mmm, let's just keep eating. Got a big chunk of that barbecue chicken. <laughs> That's a good pizza. Again, being up north, and you feel like a pizza, don't want to make it yourself and have a very good artisan style pizza. Pizza Forno is the way to go. It's easily a shareable pizza. Eating only half this pizza is perfectly fine. It looks like they use um, cornmeal on the bottom to help it not stick to things. Mm-hmm. Nice and crunchy on the edge. Mm-hmm. I'm enjoying that a lot. That dough is nice and fluffy. Tastes like fresh pizza. Freshly baked dough. Listen to this. Yep. Very nice. Nice huge chunks of bacon. Not too smoky, but nice. Then you have this other option, which is cutting it in half, folding it, make like a little panzerotti. Oh, look how nice that is, people. Fresh, <laughs> fresh from a vending machine. Mmm. Nice big bite. Cheese. Mm-hmm. I got more of a mozzarella bite out of that one. But it's the mozzarella and the dough and that barbecue chicken all combining together to create this beautiful experience in your mouth. I hope you have one of these machines close to your home. Because again, if things are closed and you feel like a great treat like this, grab yourself one of these. There's a few more on there I want to try. Not necessarily today. I've had a few different styles of barbecue pizza from other places, but this one is definitely uh, a must try. It tastes great. Let me know in the comments below if watching me eat awesome food like this 
makes you hungry or even better makes you go out to grab the same thing I just ate comment in the comment section below check that out people nice little folded piece of goodness I have this one piece left over who wants it check this out the Sun is shining and I'm eating pizza on a beautiful fall day Every once in a while, you get the bacon and the barbecue chicken at the same time. And then it's just, again, it just bumps up that flavor kick. Last bite of this piece. Gotta cleanse the palate before my last piece. It is a perfectly sized pizza for one individual. I'm gonna move that piece of chicken to there. That way maybe I get more pieces of chicken in every bite. Yeah, that's a perfectly balanced slice. Mmm. I can't get over the dough. Did such a great job. Like I think I said in the last video, if you were to buy this, get home, sneak it in the oven, and then when your family comes home, take it out, put it on the tray. They would totally, totally think that you made it yourself. That's how good this is. It, it, it tastes like you could have made it at home, no problem. Here's one of the things I like doing near the end is I'll bite off the crust part, enjoy that. And then my last bite will be a bunch of cheese and chicken and bacon. And that's uh, one of my favorite things I like to do when I'm eating the last part of a slice Enjoy the crust. I love the crust. Now that's the way to end off a beautiful meal here in Port Carling from a pizza vending machine. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I am all done. I am super stuffed. That was a lot of pizza. It was very good pizza. Next time you're out and about and you are anchoring for a slice, uh, check out uh, a pizza vending machine, the Pizza Forno one. Hopefully you live near one and you can try it out and see for yourself if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Alright right, guys, if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out this wicked playlist and I'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.